Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss about penicillins. Penicillins, the most important antibiotics group, which was first extracted from the mold, known as Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysogenum. Actually, penicillin belongs to a group of antibiotics called beta lactam antibiotics. The basic structure of the penicillin consists of thiazolidine ring fused with a beta lactam ring, which is essential for antibacterial activity. You can pause the video and you can see this structure, basic structure. Member of this family differs from one another in the R substituent attached with the 6 amino penicillinic acid group. The nature of this side chain affects the antimicrobial spectrum, stability, stability to the stomach acid, hypersensitivity, and susceptibility towards bacterial degradative enzymes known as beta lactamase. Mechanism of action of penicillin. Before going to discuss mechanism, keep in mind these things. Penicillins are only effective against rapidly growing organisms, means organisms that synthesize. This size peptidoglycan cell wall. Currently, they are inactive against gram uh, organisms that is divided of the such peptidoglycan like protozoa, fungi, viruses, mycobacteria. So, penicillin works by the following three mechanisms or three features. Or they have three main features. First one is penicillin binding proteins, inhibition of transpeptidase. Third one is production of autolysins. So, penicillin binding proteins. What is the main role? In this, there are numerous uh, normal function of this are there are numerous proteins on the bacterial cell membrane, which are enzymes involved in the synthesis of the cell wall and in the maintenance of the morphologic feature of their cell wall of the bacterium. So, when penicillins are given, they inactivate these proteins, which causes prevention of the cell wall synthesis but also lead to morphologic changes or lysis of the susceptible bacteria. Second is inhibition of transpeptidase. Some penicillin binding proteins catalyze formation of the cross linkages between the peptidoglycan chain. They involve in the peptide linkages of the chain unit that is NAGNAM. You can pause video here and you can see NAGNAM, N-acetyl glucosamine, N-acetyl muromic acid. So these proteins can inhibit it. Third one is production of autolysins. Most gram positive bacteria such as cocci produces autolysins which is a degradative enzyme. This enzyme autolysin participate in the normal remodeling of the bacterial cell wall. So in the presence of the penicillin, the degradative action of such autolysin proceed in the absence of the cell wall synthesis. Therefore, antibacterial effect of penicillin is the result of both inhibition of the cell wall synthesis and destruction of the existing cell wall by autolysin. So in a nutshell, the penicillin interfere with the last step of bacterial cell wall synthesis that is transpeptidation or cross linkages resulting in exposure of the osmotically less stable membrane. Cell lysis can therefore occur either through the osmotic pressure or through activation of autolysins. Then we have antibacterial spectrum of penicillin. This is the important one. So gram positive microorganisms have cell membrane, have cell wall that are easily go through by penicillin. And therefore, in the absence of the resistance, they are susceptible to these drugs.
gram negative microorganisms have an outer lipoprol polysaccharide layer or membrane surrounding the cell wall that presents barrier to the water soluble penicillins so you must keep this in mind in after that natural penicillin such as penicillin g or also known as penicillin v benzyl penicillin also called penicillin g is the cornerstone of the therapy for infection caused by a number of gram positive and gram negative cocci gram positive bacilli and spirochetes penicillin v has similar spectrum to that of penicillin g but it is not used for the treatment of bacteremia because of its poor oral absorption penicillin v is more acid stable than penicillin g and is often employed orally in the treatment of infections antistaphylococcal penicillins such as methicillin nephicillin oxacillin cloxacillin and dicloxacillin are beta lactamase or you can say penicillin is resistant penicillin they used in the treatment of infection caused by penicillin is producing staphylococci including methicillin sensitive staphylococcus aureus msa but you have to remember this the penicillin is resistant penicillin have minimal to no activity have minimal to no activity against gram negative infection extended spectrum penicillins such as ampicillin or amoxicillin these are the most common antibiotics you have heard have an antibacterial spectrum similar to that of penicillins but are more effective against gram negative bacilli then we have ampicillin as a drug of choice for the gram positive bacillus listeria monocytogenes and susceptible enterococcal enterococcal species these extended spectrum agents are also widely used in the treatment of respiratory infections Amoxicillin is employed in the prophylactically by dentist in high risk patient for the prevention of bacterial endocarditis. So dosage form with beta lactamase inhibitors such as calvulonic acid or salbectum. These site these in salbectum and calvulonic acid protects amoxicillin or ampicillin from enzymatic hydrolysis. and extend their antimicrobial spectra anti pseudomonal penicillin such as piperacillin anticracillin are called anti pseudomonal penicillin because of the because of their activity against pseudomonal aeruginosa formulation consist of atacrasilin and piperacillin in combination with calvulonic acid or tazobactam extended their spectra or extended the antimicrobial spectra of these antibiotics to include penicillin as producing organisms then we have resistance mechanism of penicillin how penicillin become resistant the first one is beta lactamase associated resistance beta lactamase is enzyme you know bacteria can produce this this enzyme hydrolyzes hydrolyzes the beta lactam ring which is the important for antibacterial activity which results in 
the loss of bactericidal action or bactericidal activity they are the major cause of resistance then we have decreased permeability to the drug so decreased penetration of the antibiotic through the outer cell membrane of the bacteria prevents the drug from reaching the target site that is penicillin binding protein the presence of an efflux pump can also reduce the amount of intracellular drug altered penicillin binding proteins this is another mechanism of resistance means modified penicillin binding proteins have a lower affinity for beta lactam rings or sorry beta lactam antibiotics requiring clinically unattainable concentrations of the pen of the drug of the penicillin to effect inhibition of the bacterial growth adverse reactions of penicillin which is important to consider the first one of the very common that is hypersensitivity reaction second one is the nephritis third one is diarrhea fourth one is neurotoxicity fifth one is hematological toxicity thank you for watching this video hope you can subscribe our channel we are on youtube channel with pharmacology notes too on pharmacology notes kindly subscribe us and stay tuned for